Aircraft making a condensation trail is very similar in many ways to when you go outside on a cold day and exhale, you create a condensation trail. That little cloud is a condensation trail. Now, if you take a two mile walk on a cold day and you can turn around and you can see your condensation trail tracking all the way back for two miles, that's how crazy it is to think that what we're looking in the sky is actually condensation trails. The contrails, not the chemical, the contrails occur because of cold air, minus 30. It takes a high altitude, around 30,000 feet plus. There's a carbon dioxide and water vapor in that exhaust. That turns to ice crystals, and that's what you see, the white stream behind it. Those white crystals of ice warm up, dissolve, and the smoke goes away and it never lasts more than a minute. What we're seeing now, and I first could not believe it, and I started looking at the skies, and these are not normal, they're not natural. There's something going on, I don't know who it is or why they're doing it. All I can testify is it's not natural and it's not normal. It's gotta be some outside influence doing that. Thank you. I'm here to give you testimony that chemtrails, they're not contrails, are indeed real. They're spraying almost every day. I watch the clouds and watch the spraying program going on. I want to tell you that we're in very great danger from the pollution that's coming down over us. And we've been led astray by the military industrial complex. And they're responsible for the clouds creation and weather manipulation programs. They're dark operations. That's why they're not out in the media. I look around and I see people are starting to look up and see this. Many times I've spoken about chemtrails, and I get this blank look on my face. What are you talking about? I'm saying, look up. As a pilot, but before I fly, I look up. And so, boy, they're really out there working. When you look up at the sun and you see a white haze, that is aluminum floating in the air right now, and it's coming from the aircraft. There's a huge amount of uh, aluminum being found because these sprays have aluminum, strontium, barium, manganese. And uh, there's a lot of argument that aluminum is very common to be found, but aluminum is only common in a bonded form. It's not common in a free form, and we're finding high rates of free aluminum uh, in the soil, which is not natural. The metal compounds that are being used are environmentally dangerous. We need to be monitoring them. We need to be testing them. Okay, these previous guys, I've watched exactly what they do, and yes, they are correct. I've seen exactly the same stuff, so ditto marks on those.
that we as citizens of this great country take action. Board of Supervisors in Suffolk County, New York, they outlawed geochemical engineering. Hawaii passed an ordinance prohibiting geochemical engineering. I urge you to bar geoengineering in Shasta County and pass an ordinance. At least ask some damn questions. What the hell is all this aluminum doing here? Why are the trees dying? Fish is dying? Why is there Alzheimer and aluminum spiking? And why are these fibers on the ground here in Shasta County? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Marmon. Today, the Shasta County Board of Supervisors has been the beneficiary of some sincere, passionate, and knowledgeable comments. And I thank you for those. I am in agreement with my colleagues about sending letters and a call for action, but I would hope that we could go a step further. I would like for us to send a copy of this video where all of you spoke today all two and a half or three hours of this testimony will be sent to our senators and our U.S. representatives we'll and, also, and also our representatives in the state of California. We'll do that. Let them listen to the passion that came out of this meeting today. Thank you. You have uh, the motion in front of you. I think it's understood. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposition? Motion passes unanimously. It wouldn't surprise me at all if the response is one that exceeds far the boundaries of Shasta County in terms of the platform that is offered as evidenced by those who attended today from around the world. That's very impressive.